hello guys hope you're doing well in today lecture i'm going to explain that how you can auto adjust the height of slider according to the content of slide if you're familiar with the webflow slider you can you all know that uh, in webflow basically the height of all slides will be adjusted according to the tallest slide of the slider for example this is first slide of my slider uh, and this is the tallest one but in my next slide there are the only two lines and you can see that this slide also have a uh, height of um, this slide also adjusts its height according to the tallest slide of the slider so in webflow slider uh, by default the height of all slides will be adjusted according to the tallest slides of the slider uh, but you can see that there is a lot of empty space which is looking very weird in this case so how i can remove this empty space or how i can readjust uh, the height of slider according to the content of each slide for example when my slider when i have this type of slide with only uh, two lines of content that auto uh, adjust the height of slider according to this uh, slide and then when i am this one then the auto adjust the height of slider according to this slide and um, then auto adjust the height according to this slide so how you can readjust the height of slide, uh, slider according to the content of each slide let's move to the web flow and see how i did it basically again moving to the web flow and it's only the line of two codes uh, it's only the two lines of codes uh, for example uh, be careful about the class name here is my slider uh, and uh, you can see the name of the slider is performance slider so be careful about the class because the same name the class of the slider is used in the custom code now move to the custom code Here you can see these are only two lines uh, with the name of that slider class that is dot performance slider area hidden to height is equal to zero. So just these two magic lines and you can uh, achieve your required results. So just save it and publish the site and here are the results. For example, when I am on my first uh, slide, the height of the slider you can see and then when I am on the second slide, you can see the now the empty space is hidden now the empty space the height of the empty space is zero uh, so the slider adjusted itself according to the content of this slide and then moving to the next slide again a slider auto adjusted the um, height of uh, slide according to the content of each slide again moving to the first slide you can see the height is again uh, uh, readjusted according to the content of this slide and on my second slide which is the shortest one the height of the slide is again adjusted so you can achieve this result you can adjust or you can auto height um, uh, adjust the height of slider according to the content of each slide uh, simply by these two custom code lines uh, and I uh, I will provide this custom code uh, this custom code in my description box you can just copy and paste and see the matching in your uh, webflow within webflow slider so basically this is a webflow slider element which i adjusted um, in which i adjusted the height of slider according to the height of each slide so hope you like my video hope you like my concept uh, please do subscribe share and like my channel thank you